Mayor, you mentioned the Wexford building, Gotham Green, some of these exciting parts of Providence. Yeah. How do those projects connect to the city at large? Some people who might feel left out of some of those yeah. you know, new ideas that are coming to the city from a geographic perspective or from an access perspective. Yeah. That's a great question. And you know what? It begins with, you know, when I was young here in the city, no one would come to downtown, right? No one in their right mind, you know, would be down here during off hours. Now it's different. People come down for PVD Fest. They come down for the bars, for the restaurants. They come down because it's vibrant here. And there's a sense that this is our downtown now. It's not downtown versus the rest of the city. We're all a part of this. And so when I think about the investments that we're making in infrastructure here, when I think about the programming at CIC, when I think about the investments in transportation here, these are transportations that everyone can be a part of. So, you know, certainly we want to build our city and build it in a way that our residents are the main beneficiaries of it. And we can share the space with residents and visitors. That's what this new Providence is about. You know, it's a far cry from the Providence that existed when I, when I was here, but our residents are finally seeing downtown as a place where they can spend time and feel comfortable bringing their families. So the mobility stuff, for lack of yeah. a better way of putting it, factors in All bike lanes, access in general. That's right. So you're 100% you're right. The mobility, but also the programming, making sure that, you know, there's also things that people want to come downtown for. And you combine those two things and you get a sense that people feel a connection to downtown that they haven't in the past. So it's exciting to see that come together. Yeah.